Welcome back to some of the most professional StarCraft 2 World Champion versus World Champion. You couldn't ask for much more than in the top right of Tropical Sacrifice. It is Serral, the finisher. The menace of every single tournament. Any that mean anything. He doesn't even bother playing in all the weekly cups and little tournaments that small-time players like his opponent do. No. Of course, the underdog in this match. It's Micro Jackson. It's Beyond. His headstrong Terran style gonna go up against the the standard for Zerg. The best Zerg. Not really a question, more of a statement. But you know what Beyond did that no one else has ever done? He got a unit nerfed because of him. It wasn't explicitly stated, but uh, not once, though, but twice. And you want to know what that unit was? The Reaper. And why do I mention this? Because right now, Beyond is going for three racks Reaper against a Serral who opened up with pool first. But, oh, wow. Thankfully for Beyond. Well, he already had an SCV in the wall. The grenade doesn't bounce the Zerglings in, but he gets through. The depot is down, and now Beyond is going to have to micro his Reaper. This is his comfort zone here, but a little more awkward than he might have expected to start off Serral. The one actually in his base, despite the three racks. Uh, I, I like the choice to take the initiative. Uh, otherwise, he'd have to deal with just constant annoying Reapers on his side of the map. Now, this is not deadly damage by any means. This is essentially a, an expensive scout for Serral. And uh, the, the response is a roach one. Okay, so he's going to try to take this head on. We're not looking at Zergling speed. But instead, Roach is probably the only unit Reapers can't kill uh, easily with mass grenades. Because uh, now what happened? How did Beyond get the Reapers nerfed? One, uh, well, it was the grenade both times. One, it used to be a 14 or 7 second cooldown. Now it's 14. It used to be 10 damage. Now it's 5. Uh, but apparently that still hasn't stopped him, even to this day, from trying out these mass Reaper builds. Uh, the problem is, the Reapers, they heal... If you don't kill them the first time, they come back at full strength. And the more you have, the easier it is to continually interrupt attacks with those grenades. No, they don't do the massive damage they did to buildings. They activate a ability instead. But the, the roaches come out, which Beyond already knew about because he, he got into the main saw the roach one. Thing is, roaches don't actually really counter reapers either. Uh, you get enough Reapers, and you could easily bounce around the Roaches and pick them off. Because when they get hit by the grenade, and they're doing their little air dance there, they can't attack. Uh, so you can use that to interrupt the attacks for long enough to pick them off. Now, beyond... Be, be, sorry, I meant beyond this. Suspiciously close to beyond. But beyond this, he's opting for a factory. He is acknowledging the fact that Roach Ravager could eventually push the Reapers back. He's built some more marines. He's got a starport on the way. So, Cyril has handled it. About as well as you could, I think. Uh, the early Zerglings got into the base. They got a full scout and beyond. Well, they, he's going to get into the base and he's going to get a full scout. The queen found Brenda. No, now is not the time to fly. Not again. And the Roaches and Ravagers suffering from a severe lack of ability to, to jump up a cliff. And he's targeting drones. He only got four so far. Five, but he's going to lose most of the Reapers here, it looks like. So already intercepting. The Roaches will kill him on the way out. The details are there. So five drones for all the Reapers. Let's see. Nope. Okay, we're not using the battle report. We had to test early on. So that way later on, I do uh, Jimmy doesn't screw it up. Um, well... That was... Eh, I, I don't think that was worth it. I think he was expecting more, but Sarah with the evolution chamber in the middle of everything and some decent drone micro, you don't want to just run away. That makes it too easy to pick off the drones. But at the same time, you can't just let the Reapers go to work, so... He, he diffused the situation about as well as you could expect. And now Beyond doesn't know if Sarah's going to build a bunch more roaches... Or if he's going to macro it out. He can't take the risk, even for him. 
of moving out. There's nothing. What is he going to move out with? His army is four marines, which is still very scary because it's beyond. But <laughs> four marines are not quite deadly damage against half a dozen roaches and uh, any number of queens and ravagers. So Beyond is bottled up in his base right now. He's stuck back. And uh, his only option is to send out the Banshee and otherwise play defensive. Serral, recognizing this, Lair on the way. More drones being produced. I, I do got to say his creep spread was really good for dealing with the Reapers directly. As he had creep spread to the edge of his base, he actually prioritized creep spread to the edge of his base. Uh, which, I mean, it seems obvious, but Serral does a lot of stuff that seems obvious because Serral did it. Kind of like building this overseer. That creep spreader actually scouted the Banshee, I think. And allowed him to get the overseer in a timely manner. And that means Beyond is going to sacrifice the Banshee for four drone kills. Okay, I think I can decisively say that was not worth it. He invested in a Banshee and in Cloak. All right, that's not free. Uh, and that's uh, both the resource investment and the starport time. That could have been a Viking, could have been a Medivac, could have been a Liberator, could have been a Battlecruiser, could have been a Raven. Those are all things that come out of the starport. Some are better than others. But pretty much all of those probably would have been better than a Cloak Banshee used to kill four drones. Yep, well, does he... Let's look at the Serral Cam. All right, which I'm... I saw it! Oh my... I'm like... He, Serral's pretty much omnip omnipotent. He sees everything. He actually saw the shimmer there, though. So... <laughs> with the creep spread. Oh... Uh, it was supposed to be a joke, but it's I'm not laughing at him. Well, I am laughing, but beyond stop. Uh, he's gonna trade a few more. And six drones. Okay. 15 drones total, but... Oh, Muta's on the way. It's Muta time. And why not? The best time to go Mutalisks is, is when your opponent doesn't really have any map control. And right now, Beyond, it, all he can really do is send out a couple medevacs and marines. The best defense against Mutas is good offense, and, and Beyond doesn't really have an opportunity to move out on the map without huge risk. Because of that early aggression, because of that huge investment in Banshees and in Reapers in the early game, has left him in this position. Now the Roach Ravager, the Mutas have yet to be revealed. Throws out a Corrosive Bile. There's enough Roaches on the ground to deal with this. In fact, Serral's going for the Roach Ravager in total. That's his build. He's got a uh, plus one ranged attack even on the way. Beyond completely blindsided by the Mutalisks. He's going to lose four, five SCVs, no turrets. He's going to keep going. Loses one Muta, unfortunate, but not critical. Five Mutas are enough to one-shot workers. That's why it's such a key number. Beyond is salvaging the bunker at a very awkward time. And eight SCVs for one Muta. Not the trade that Beyond was looking for him. It's now a 20-worker lead for the Zerg. Ah. Still getting more. Four mutas. All it takes. He's not even really building more. It's just this was it. This was the whole strat. All and these mutas are more than worth it. It's very similar to what Beyond did with his banshees. He's like, well, I'm just building them to throw you off and get a little damage done for as long as I can while I build up a ground on you. Except Cyril did it better. Cyril still has the mutas. He's killed ten SCVs. He's forced a constant response. And now Beyond, because of the existence of the Mutas, can't threaten the drops nearly uh, as much. He knows if he commits too much army out in the drops, the ground army could get wiped out by roaches, and the medevacs could get wiped out by Mutas or Corruptors. So, just the existence of these Mutas is pinning Beyond back in his base and allowing Serral to, to drone up his fort to get an infestation pit, which I assume is going to be directly for a hive. And uh, Baneling Speed is on the way to complement the rest of the ground army. A ground army that's going to be used to bludgeon Beyond as soon as he moves out on the map. Something to point out. He just finished Zergling Speed. Oh, and there go the Mutas. Well, uh, Muta Threat is removed. So now there is this tenuous timing where maybe... Oh, that's a lot of road traffic here, but the Marine count is pretty damn high. Plus one, plus one, just finished. Beyond, he sees no Bane Links. And that means he has an opportunity to step forward. Uh-oh, I, I call that a win for Beyond. The best he could have hoped for, 
in such an awkward scenario. He killed the mutas, and the fact that there were four mutas and that's it has just alerted him. There's no anti here. You don't... If you just lost all those mutas and that was the end of it, there's at least a window where he can get drops done. So not only did he did Cyril not crush him, he also gave up that, that map control the mutas were giving him. So that means Beyond's back on the board. Hive is on the way, though. It's still an uphill climb, literally and figuratively, in many cases here. He crosses the bridge, trying to get something done. Meanwhile, the drop in the back. He's distracting however he can, and the, the Zerglings are not enough. He's going to need Banelings to deal with it, or an amount of roaches that Cyril is not bringing to the table right now. The roaches are fighting. The Zerglings are stuck behind, but Beyond picks up and he gets out. <laughs> oh, what a move. He just does a little sidestep, just like ducks his head a little, and somehow gets out. <laughs> I can't. I thought that spore covered too, Sarah, but Ultralisk Cavern is on the way. He's still wielding this much higher economy. Oh, and that that is... Sarah understands if he can keep Beyond off a of fourth base, he still has access to way more. He's had the Inco lead for five minutes out of a 12-minute game. He's going to get a wraparound in the center, but coming across the bridge, the Vipers... A big threat. No ghosts on the field. Three more barracks on the way. We got 2-2 two, two for Beyond. Actually, Cyril didn't get plus two melee. He's only getting plus three carapace. He's now adding on the melee, which means there's going to be window where Beyond's upgrades are very competitive. Uh, especially against even the Ultras. Uh, plus two attack will be done well before Chitinous plating or the plus three carapace, which means Beyond has a real fighting chance here. Though it is going to take a lot of fighting. The, the Banelings trying to roll behind, but Cero kind of indecisive about what he wants. He decided to tech up to Hive, but Beyond has been winning fights now, making it difficult to actually get there. And in fact, he's trapped in a bit of a prison of his own design as the Marines can't... That SimCity working very well against everyone involved. The Banelings try to roll in. Get a few Marines. He, he realized that in an awkward roll reversal, puns intended... The Banelings were about to get chased down by the Marines, so... <laughs> Opening up some opportunities. Sarah wants to get rid of these roaches. No more roaches. Uh, boring, sad, dead supply. This is, this is ultra-less supply right now, and you're getting in the way, roaches. He's going to draw some of the army out of position while he smashes into the floor. And now Sarah. A blinding cloud. A great one. Parasitic bomb as well. The Ultralisk on the way. Starting to lead the charge. The tank's vulnerable. And without the tanks, it's going to be a tough time defending here. Well, one tank survives. Parasitic bomb. Not enough damage. Plus three carapace isn't complete. And just Marines apparently are going to make those Ultras turn around. They haven't yet uh, had their diet plan that we may be seeing in the next patch. So they're not the most... Uh, not that not that a, a slight slim down is going to make all the difference here, but it will certainly help with those tight spaces. Cyril so just... Wow. Well, both of them. 430 to 50 APM apiece average, which is kind of insane, especially for Terran, who doesn't have the APM inflation of, you know, spreading creep and building Zerglings and Banelings. The un is very fast. Um, that's what we're saying here. Oh, uh, the... the Parasitic bomb. Oh, some of the marines get left behind, unfortunately, but... Yeah. They'll expect some of us in the wreckage. Flies out to the north. The alley Misses the medevac. Sees the army. And Beyond has somehow dragged this into a, a real scrappy fight. Despite Cyril having such a lead. Well, the Ultralists lead the charge. Oh, Widowmine. Softens up one. The Roach. Oh my god, he's getting concussive shells. We've all done that for getting concussive until it's like you're maxed out. Oh, the Banelings roll into the SCVs, but the Roaches are no match for the Marine Marauder, and Cyril caught off guard, not able to deal with the drops at the back. Parasitic Bomb won't stop the Marines already on the ground. Those medevacs have a limited time to live. Wait, will that even kill it? Okay. <laughs> that answers the question. The army supply is in favor of Beyond right now. He has 3-3 three, three on the way. Cyril has 2-3 for his melee. Uh, most of these units are already bruised from too many stims, let alone any damage from the Zerg. One Ultra showing up, targets the hatch, gets it, picks up, and there's nothing to stop the Metavex. We might have to consider Corruptors after all this. The Widowmines, is there Drilling Claws? There is not. 
but they will burrow. Doesn't get any shots off. Be uncut in that awkward purgatory position of most of his army and medevacs that are a few HP from dying. But still, has some medevacs at the back. Cyril's banking money right now. He's continually consolidated. He's just waiting for that great fight where he can crush beyond. I don't know if this is it, though. The Banelings are rolling in. The Ultra's chopping through the rest. Banelings on the front line. Beyond just unable to compete with the damage output at the start of this fight, but once he finds his way up to the high ground, he's found a choke point to file the Ultras through. Not enough. Not enough. Cyril, able to overrun in game one. Though, you can kind of tell what series we're in for. From the Reaper versus Pool first, all the way to a full back and forth macro game. In fact, that was a little concerning for Cyril. Like, Cyril had what he should have had what it took to, to close it out before Beyond even got close to 200 supply. But Beyond doesn't die easy. So game two. Oh. Stargazers. Definitely uh, probably a more favorable map for, for Beyond. Definitely, probably, as they say. Yo, where'd those SUVs go and be on? Hmm. What are you up to? <laughs> where are you gonna proxy? The exact center of the map. He'll never expect it. You know what? He's right. <laughs> we'll split the difference. <laughs> All right, Vion. Yeah, Cyril is scouting for... Pro He's going to see it eventually, but uh, by the time the Overlord gets there, the Marines are already coming out. Well. Okay. Cyril doesn't go for a pull first this time. I don't know if that's necessarily good or bad against this kind of delayed proxy. And wow, he actually brought the the overlord back. He didn't commit to scouting that far. Run the serial cam right now. Setting up those camera locations. He sees an SCV. It's kind of a normal timing, right? That overlord clicking back like, huh? Ah! Ah! Like, wait a second. There's another one. Uh oh. Oh. And, and no, he's taking this real seat. Here come the rest of the drones. In case he thought it was a fake before, he doesn't any longer. He's going to chase down the Marines, try to stop this before it can start. The pool just finished here. Oh, my. And he's he's not going to get the bunker. He's trying to hunt down. I... Oh, no, the drones aren't attacking. Beyond is getting so many of them. Oh, it's not good. He may... Oh, the bunker's being repaired. Oh, no. He can't really let the Marines in the bunker. He's already committed so much. Oh, he's killing so many of them. Oh, it's an absolute disaster for Cyril. Even if he kills all these with no more, no more damage, it's already too much. This is already too much damage. He's killed 10 drones. Cyril has less drones than he started with. It's a disaster. Oh, no. The good old-fashioned proxy... He goes from... Three racks Reaper to two racks proxy. And Cyril just unable to compete. Wow, that that was a really sloppy defense from Cyril. I, I think he got thrown off by the timing. I'm pretty sure he thought it was a fake. Because cause that bunker was pretty late. It was just a single bunker. Like, he thought maybe for a Reaper or something. And then the marines and the second SCV shows up and the rest of the drones come down like oh mm. uh, ooh not a great start beyond knows the damage he did he did I'll make two command centers now of damage <laughs> ooh yeah the, Cyril has two options. One is go super duper ultra all in. And not ultras, but like a baneling all in. Or 
try to macro it out. Which means he has no chance of doing any damage to Beyond, who can wall off a single ramp. Beyond is admitting that in case Serral does do like a Baneling bust, he maybe should have something. But that's about it. Well, and it's macro time. Hellion on the way, Jim. This is a very awkward position as a Zerg player. Does every round of drones you commit to uh, feels like you're, you're opening up another potential attack timing. That's always true. But it's more true when you're completely in the dark. Or against dark, you know. But... Under attack. Evolution complete. He still hasn't confirmed the expansion, but at this point, you're pretty sure. Yeah, there's no vision on anything but the gas. Single Hellion coming out. And of course, he has no idea about the third command center. He can't confirm that. Though, he can have his suspicions. Zergling speed is done. We'll see if Cyril gambles on anything. Cyril's not a big gambler. He he's relies on uh, essentially out macroing his opponent at every turn. Even if he, he starts from a bit of a deficit. I mean, it was more than a bit. It was at least a bite. That was a lot of drones. And while it doesn't really manifest itself yet, the fact is Cyril doesn't even have a lair on the way. Uh, he doesn't have any Evo Chambers. He's just now starting it. His tech's just not going to kick in. The one thing he doesn't have as quick is gas. Because uh, he needed every bit of minerals. Yep. And without Baneling speed or any upgrades, this is going to be a massive pain to fight. Well, he scouts it coming out. If Beyond wanders too far forward and loses the medevax, well, that's the the a great sign for for Sarah, But we'll see. He's got 16 Marines. It's not even that late, all things considered. Well, I guess he got a bunch of his Marines from the. Oh no, he had no Marine left behind. He got a bunch of his Marines back from the early aggression, the, the early two wrecks. He didn't actually sacrifice them all. So, meanwhile, a single Zergling gets an SCV on the other side. Lair just now started as the armory starts for Beyond. Ooh. Oh, that is tough. Is it? Is, he gets it. He goes back for one Marine. There was one left behind on the high ground there. Well, Queen's wandering. Still taking a four. Uh, so, Beyond still needs to get some damage done. Oh my. The Queen. Brenda, no! If only we could fly! Oh, it's so annoying to deal with these, especially on this map, but in general, the double medevac drops. Combat shield complete. 1 1 about to finish. Without Banelings, it's going to get that much. Oh my god, I've never seen that position used. Which uh, is quite a phrase, but like, that he jams himself underneath the ramp there without any Banelings. Oh. God. Beyond knows all the spots. He's a... He's an expert. Well, still a bunch of Marines. Baneling speed is first priority for Serral. Wow, the Banelings couldn't get quite close enough. He's back to the to the Marine Pier. The Banelings couldn't get close enough to detonate before be unnoticed. For once, he wasn't looking, but Serral couldn't quite get everything. The Zerglings got in the way. And now Serral's down six workers. And in down an army supply. He's got Lingbane Queen. 
with worse, well, uh, not quite worse upgrades, but without Baneling speed, this is such a, a mess. The Banelings are closing in. There's still a few Widow Mines that could be turned. Okay, well, that might have looked great for Sarah. You might look at that and be like, well, Sarah crushed it. Let's, let's look. Beyond maintains about the same army supply lead. And uh, I think at this stage, the tie goes to the leader. And that's Beyond with his upgrades and his production already online while Cyril's trying to play catch up. It definitely wasn't great. It could have been much worse. That was something for Cyril. But he doesn't have any of the units that are going to translate that into damage on the other side of the map. Oh my, wait a second. That's not our Marine. Billy, get in there. <laughs> I like the changeling at the watchtower. Beyond now, this is a typical Beyond move where not not the aimbot against Banelings, but instead, once you, if you're ever in a tenuous position, like your army isn't large enough to straight up fight, you never give them a target. You just, you just never let your opponent find enough of your army to put you on the back foot. Like even if Beyond loses 30 army supply here, it's in Cyril's base. Cyril has to come all the way out of his base, out around, across the map, and by the time he gets there, Beyond's rebuilt pretty much the same unit. So, until Cyril can deal directly with these medevacs, or find a cost-efficient defense against this army, he's gonna constantly be pinned back to his base. Beyond is never gonna let him move out. Well, we're down to two medevacs of units, but Cyril has to keep all of these lings and banes in his base, whereas Beyond can move back and forth with the medevacs. You know how medevacs work, all right? We, we've gotten this far. If you've gotten this far without figuring that out, well, then I've got a, a YouTube membership to sell you. Concussive on the way. Sarah looking for a counterattack. Widow mine spotted. Very easy to spot widow mines on this map. Like, uh, when they're... Even when you don't have detection. It's actually... That, that does factor in a bit. Oh my god, a Baneling Mine! But unfortunately not a Widow Mine, so... All it does is make Cyril disappointed here. So close, yet so far, which is Baneling Mines in a nutshell. Well, once again, neither of these players are able to kill each other very effectively. Cyril has survived. He's gotten a hive. He's got plenty of drones. He's got plenty of bases. Beyond has not done critical damage. So now he's left up against a nearly maxed out Cyril. But Beyond has 3-3 on the way. Oh, Cyril looking for a full surround here. But Beyond, look, not, not one to get outflanked easily. Spots the army on the way. Even has a sensor tower here. Zerglings. Adrenal glands is complete. He only has 2-2 two, two done. The, the army, the drops picked up. Beyond not slipping on that either. The rest of the Bioforce coming across the map. Beyond at 69 SCVs. A nice amount to complement with 131 army supply. Fully maxed out. Money in the bank. Command Center's building. On to the crate. He knows now is the time to fight before Cyril can get those late game units. The Marines standing their ground, but the Banelings are closing in. Banelings crashing into the army. Do a lot of damage, but Beyond still takes a very nice trade. Overall, 250 Zerglings down. Cyril's now lost 4,000 more minerals and 800 more gas. Beyond's actually only lost 375 gas so far. So even though he's, he's winning these fights, the war... Ah! That's my parasitic bomb noise. Um, uh, they, they thought about adding it to the game, but they thought it would be too uh, arousing for people. So they, they went with what they had. Uh... Plus three attack is on the way. Plus three armor is already done for Beyond. Not too many Widow Mines with this, but a bunch of Marauders. The meat shield in front to absorb the Banelings as best he can. Splitting back. Cyril trying to crash through. He's off of Crete now, but it's just the Marines. Target fire on the Banes. Hold the line. Handful of Zergling counterattack. In fact, he lifts. I don't even think he noticed what was happening over there. Wait, did he lift all his command centers? No, just that one. What a play. The Baneling Mine still down there. Cyril, not able to find too much. He doesn't have a Lurker Den on the way. Does he have a Lurker Den done? No. No. 
No lurkers at all. He's adding hydras in as something. He's gotten to the vipers and Cyril has survived and he's thrived, but he's still in a tough position uh, against Bion, who who's about to have 3-3 done. It's it's still definitely uh, Bion's game to maybe not lose, but he has the advantage for now. It's always been one fight away from going the other side, but... Ooh, Parasitic Bob on a huge clump of Metavax. The Widowbinds, though, finding good connections on the frontline banelings, and there's not that many left over. The Vipers have to decide between killing the Metavax or blinding the army. Gotta be careful, because it also blinds your Hydras if it's caught in the wrong spot. He's still on the creep here. The banelings can close in so quick. Beyond just gonna pick up and try to get out. The Widowmine connects and crashes into a bunch of banelings. There's another double drop on the corner, and the, the Queens are able to shut it down, but uh, Beyond is now trading out his army supply for Ghost. What a game! 3-3 is done for Beyond. He doesn't have the building upgrades quite yet. Overseers on the way. You can never have too many. In fact, you could just start throwing them into the mines if you need to. Three drop... Wait, no, those aren't Overseers. Those are Dropper Lords. Another Widow Mine connected to the north. You gotta be careful with the Vipers as well. Uh, Cyril keeps trying to expand to the gold base, but Beyond's not having it. There's no real response to the Metavax right now. But, as time goes on, he's, he's just gonna do a lane drop. I mean, why not? Two can play at that game. It just takes one a little bit longer. The Zerglings clean up the Marines as they try to drop out. The Medivac, obsolete. <laughs> Taking his time here on the drop. Everyone's dropping! It's drop o'clock. Uh... <laughs> what am I watching? I thought he would drop the wings on it, but he, he doesn't go for it. Cyril might want to mine out this area. The Viper's getting targeted. Oh, the ship's passing in the night. And, well, it's, it's actually broad daylight. Uh, well, it's a Beyond was ready. Yeah, and the snipes on the Ovis, come on. It, tell your friends what happened here. Nope, never mind. <laughs> the Ventire scan. Yeah, that, did, that didn't go quite as well as Beyond's drops. Uh, Beyond managed to kill the hatchery and a bunch of the Zerglings. The Zergling kill count 444 four, four right now, but we're not done. We're a long way from done. As both sides still have a lot of resources to work with, Cyril has survived, and he's taken his half of the map. He's getting Lurkers now, which are the next thing to contend with. Unfortunately, there are already ghosts on the field, which means the Lurkers already have that counter built in. They are something to, to maybe hold some of these bases. Zerglings are nothing compared to this arm. He's got five Metavex. He's got like four or five ghosts. He's got three ghosts, a Widow Mine. It's not enough. The main base is now vulnerable. The rest of the army has to come down and defend. A couple Vipers, they have energy, trying to dodge EMPs. They get sniped, both down. One Parasitic Bomb, not enough. Well, they're doing a lot of damage to the, the Metavex, but Beyond wins the fight to the north. The Snipes are able to knock down the Vipers. And while they discourage the Metavax, Beyond will maintain the momentum as more units have to be committed up to the main as Beyond continues to clear the creep on the front. Widowmine, huge chunk. Some ghosts caught in front. But another massive Widowmine. They kill a few ghosts, but a whole bunch of Zerglings. <sighs> Cyril with his Burrow Fester. At some point, the Baneling Mine was used. I don't think it did critical damage based on the fact Beyond is still very much, uh, very much out on the field. Lurkers on the way as Cyril uh, scrapes the bottom of the barrel for whatever tech he can uh, in order to deal with this. But a huge amount of Zerglings are crashing through. I don't think there are any Widow Mines to deal with this. The Ghost caught in front, the most valuable units, now the first to die as they can't stim away. One Widow Mine on the back finds a shot, another one, not enough. Oh, more Zerglings, wrap around, catch the Marines and beyond. You might think his supply would plummet. No, he's still at 180. He, in the time it took to retreat back, he rebuilt the units he was losing. Here come the Lurkers. A widow mine! A, a clump of Zerglings. And the Zergling, the Ling count in general, Lings or Blings, is not enough to stop the ghosts from crashing forward. And Cyril retreats. The Lurkers will burrow. They have both their upgrades done. They weren't used until so. Uh, there is the Burrow Fester, the Desperation and Fester trying to, to... The heroic fungal to potentially uh, turn the tide of the game. How many times have we seen it? Not too many, but it, it is one of those desperation tactics that can sometimes pay off. Beyond is now building wall planetaries. 
Um, these are both orbitals, but just building command centers to create choke points. That infester staying very still, because if it moves, the little animation, like a sandworm, I think will we'll give it away. Beyond knows what he's... Beyond knows the threats right now, but here comes the burrow faster! This is the moment! It's now! Huge fungo! It doesn't get bigger than that! Oh my god! And Saro runs the table! That is more than enough! That is way more than enough! He crashes through! Oh, it happened! It actually happened! That sometimes your dreams are no longer memes! That is exactly what he needed! And Saro after 20 minutes, is now solidly in the lead. Beyond is forced to retreat. He's nearly back on his production. He has no drops on the map. The Zerg are coming, and there's nowhere left to retreat to. He has a planetary here. Okay, well, that counts, I guess. There is a planetary as a backstop just in the middle of the map because Beyond ain't going down that easy. Oh, another Widowmine, but Sarah will use this opportunity to take the contested gold base in the center of the map. This is the only base really left in play for Cyril. Beyond picks up four medevacs. A huge commitment. And he's heading towards the main. Finds the birdling there. I don't think Beyond will get caught easily again. You get one shot on that play, and then the Terrans are watching out for it. Wow, Beyond doesn't care. That's not enough Zerglings to intimidate him. He just drops out. He grinds through the Zerglings. The hatchery too. A uh, parasitic bomb means this might be a one-way trip. Another parasitic bomb. He's just... Come and get me. <laughs> this is here to buy as much time as he can, and he's bought a lot. He's kept Cyril at bay. Snipes, spot... <laughs> How many orbitals? He has nine orbitals. There's no excuse for getting caught by infestors again. There should never be a time without a scan. And he found the infestor! But is there enough army supply here to actually fight? The ghosts aren't bad against the Ling Bane, but they're not great either. Widowmind is drawn into the overseers here. Cyril diffusing the minefield when he handles it. Cyril has now lost 846 Zerglings. And he's got a few hundred more to go. That gold base is now mining. That's a lot of ghosts. Parasitic bomb. EMP. The ghosts are just fighting heads up. They are great against Zerglings in just a straight up fight. They two shot Zerglings, better DPS than Marines. And also they don't take extra damage from Bane, so what's not to love? Meanwhile, a drop to the north. Cyril somehow still on the back foot, but the, the Bane legs crashing into the ghost beyond looking the wrong way, holding on to the snipes. And the Banelings do a lot of damage. Marines to the north will get cleaned up alongside those medevacs. Only a couple Banes, though. That's not enough. That is not enough. He's not scared of your lurker. It be oh, no. Cyril is consuming his own hatch. Beyond says, let me help you with that. There's not enough snipes. There's no Banelings. He stands his ground, and he grinds them down. Beyond understands the key to playing Terran at this level is knowing when you can win every fight. Um, or knowing when you can win the fight. And Beyond just assumes he can win every fight. So it works out for him. He tries the Baneling Mine, scanned out immediately. Well, hey, the Ventria scan. Rare, but effective. And Cyril taps out. Beyond takes it back. The fact Cyril lived for that long is already insane. But Beyond, Beyond, for 15,000 minerals more efficient. That is quite a disparity as Cyril was forced into these kind of terrible fights and barely held on for so long. But at the end of the day, it started with the two rags and it ended with so much more. These these games are in... It, it doesn't, it's the highest level. That was probably the highest. I think I'm going to have to do like a first-person perspective on both sides. That was probably the highest level game I've ever seen. From both sides. Like... <laughs> And, and that's quite, that's saying quite a thing. <laughs>
I've seen a lot of games. Data C. Calm down. It all starts with 12 workers. They start with 12 drones like any other man. But Cyril actually dipping below that because of Beyond's shameless aggressions. Oh god, that hurts so bad to start with. Is this the 40-50 Broodlord game? If there ever was a map. Day to Sea is our late game map. The bases expand away from each other. As time goes on, we kind of cut the map in half uh, through the center horizontally, which over time means you get further and further apart, like the bases you want to go for. Uh, as opposed to, like, Stargazers, where, as the map... Like, eventually you end up fighting over that center base, in the very center of the map. So, the contested base uh, on Stargazers draws the armies together, as opposed to Day to Sea, where they're kind of pushed apart. That, I mean, that can favor either side. I think, of all the players, that would favor it, it's Beyond as Terran, because of his multi-prong style. Uh, and his efficiency with multiple medevacs, his, his attention per minute is insane. I, I don't know how he gets better as he gets older, but I think everyone can aspire to that, and almost no one will achieve it, as Beyond is playing the best StarCraft he's ever played. After coming back from military service, he, he's not young, okay? Um, I don't... <laughs> Jimmy? He is... He's 29. So, uh... I say that like, oh, washed up. No, he's the fastest Terran player out there with the best micro. Uh, and he's only getting better. Is this just a 2 one one It's like, no, 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 I'll go back to basics. Two racks, one factory, one starport, two medevacs, and stim. What else do you want from me? Like, well, I wanted exactly that, so thank you. All the diamond players out there are like, finally, a build I've understood and been doing for three years poorly. Ever since you first showed us in, like, 2017, I've tried this build. I knew it was good. <laughs> this was essentially be unstable after he got the Reapers nerfed. Before he got the Reapers nerfed, it was the Reapers, of course. But after the second Reaper nerf, he's like, well, I guess I'll have to micro Marines then. Honestly, I think on a, on a good day, and most days are good days for Beyond, his micro is better than Maru. Maru, I, I think, trips over himself less. What I mean by that is, is Maru puts himself in a position to win where he doesn't need to micro anymore. Uh, he's much, uh, his build orders are usually, I, I don't know, better prepared, but better executed. Whereas Beyond just kind of throws himself into the fire and tries to climb out. Like, that's, that's, a, it's a different style. Um, uh, Maru's no stranger to that, but there's a lot less, I guess I'm dropping the main and we'll see what happens with Maru. <laughs> Yep, he knows it's Marines now. Cyril knows. I mean, <laughs> that was never in doubt, but he knows he's dealing with the 2 one, one. It's so fast. 440. Three five minutes is going to be across the map. He's just going to walk it out. Or is he? Cyril expanded to the northern base. He didn't go for the triangle base, which means he's less vulnerable in some ways to the drops. 
Because if you expand to the low ground base, then they can threaten two different bases with medevacs. But, at the same time, if you don't expand there, you have to move all the way between your bases to potentially catch them. Is he scared of Zerglings? He's scared enough. Those, they don't have combat shield. Oh, wow. Look at Cyril's creep. Get not. We don't like your kind around here. Flying around like you own the place. No. No more. Yep. Well, the creep spread is exactly where it needs to be to deflect this. <laughs> so Beyond says, how about a third medevac of Marines? Ah, yes. And that's the ticket as Cyril was... Cyril just left his main. I don't know, what did you think he was going to do, Cyril? Like, do you know who you're playing? Like, what did you think was the follow-up? Oh, now he's going to sit back and turtle. Uh-huh. Well. So he, he, he's like, well, screw you. I'm getting... <laughs> I love the swing around to, to pick up the Marine. Uh. He could end up losing an entire medevac, but no marine left behind. Well, he gets the extractor. He softens up the, the there, and I think that won't be the end of that. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, come. Okay. Okay. Bye. Ugh. Zerg, like, what you should be able to do is have a spine crawler that just waves its tentacle around in the air and can hit air units. But you can't aim it. It just hits it sometime. It, it, like an inflatable tube man anti-air. Because spore crawlers aren't cutting it, so... Because right now, how do you stop this? All Cyril can do is, is strongly suggest the medevacs move along with the queens. Uh, it, but unfortunately, the joint pain once they're off creep is far too great to chase them down. So Beyond's gonna have one one. Overall, Serral has. This is not. It's mostly superficial damage. Emotional damage, but not uh, economic damage. And Serral's sitting on 70 drones. He's got four bases. Where's that macro hatcher, too? Dark would have already built four more hatches by now. But. He's got Burrow on the way. Right now, Cyril's at the drone count he wants. He's got decent creep. Uh, he's got Baneling speed, I assume. Yes. So... Now, any unit he doesn't need to defend should be counterattacking. While he goes up towards Hive. And that's exactly what's going on. He's got a counterattack on the third. Beyond's already walled this off, of course. Oh. Well, this is awkward. Well, this is not... It, this is like when you go to uh, one of those one of those dungeons and you take the wrong path. You don't realize it's a dead end. Or it goes to a boss you didn't want to do. Or, you know, into a bunch of marines. So, uh, the queens, this is regicide. Oh my god, he just murders three or four queens. How bad was it? Seven queens have died? What? Cyril's down to four. Wow, that was... Oh, we missed some of it. <laughs> God, that that's actually not enough queens to spread creep and inject reliably. Let alone deal with medevacs. Also, Cyril built the hive in the main. Which... The hive has more HP and armor. But at the same time, what base is most vulnerable to the drops here? Well, Medivac's keeping the pressure on Beyond. Is just he's just 20 supply ahead. It's all army supply too. He actually has 13 less workers. This is the time. He's about to have 2-2 two, two done. This is the most dangerous time of the game for Sarah. He starts eight Hydras. Knowing he needs to put some army on the field to deal with this. Oh, micro's back. Yeah. Vion is, is going to press the issue with 2-2. He doesn't have a Ghost Academy on the way. He's getting a fourth base. There's nothing slowing him down right now. Now, let's... You know what? Hold on, guys. This is a warning. We're going to the Beyond Action Camp. All right. They drop to the north. He, he pre-scans it. The main army. 
working up there. Already splitting, stimming, focusing his efforts, adding production at the back. He is maxed out. There's nothing else he needs to be doing right now. He's focusing on this. See some big hits. Oh my god, how did he do that? I know, his Marines just... <laughs> and he, he blunts the attack there, loses a medevac, but still getting damage done on the other side, retreating back and into the main. Going for that high ground there. Yes, Cyril has a little bit, but he's trying to draw Widowmine shot in. Burrows a few more. Oh god, that's so I mean, He manages to get to the Reaper cliff. That's not what that's for. Oh, no. Well, picks up another... He picks up another set. Heads towards the main. Unacceptable landing zone. Oh, I wonder what's under there. Unacceptable landing zone indeed. Scans. Medivacs. Heading towards the main. And he moved the spore to deal with that medivac and now the main base is vulnerable. Oh no. The hive is just gonna die. Oh. It felt like a, it felt like we were just waiting for the hammer to drop on that one. And there it goes. Oh the Marauders. Huge Widowmine hits. Cool guys, don't look away look at Widowmine explosions. He left a couple Marauders to soak damage on top of the mines. They did incredible, terrible, terrible damage. Depending really on who you're asking. He keeps dropping, he keeps juggling units back and forth. Slurp some more up. More tech gonna go down. Metavax looking for an opportunity. He's in the main. The entire tech tree is being cut to the stump right now. Every branch lopped off by these marines and marauders. The spawning pool is upgrading adrenal glands. That seems pretty important. He's not gonna have it. He's really building a lot. Oh, ah, beyond. Tear and Cyril apart. Oh, he's... Wow. Um. Wow. You can't leave anything for him. Every single... You leave any space for the medevac, he somehow jams 40 supply of bio in there. I don't... What's crazy is, is, I don't know, I might be, um, this might be a humble brag, but you can actually kind of keep up. You can see what he's doing and why he's doing it. It's just he knows exactly when to commit his attention. And I don't, I don't think Cyril did anything wrong that game, but he certainly didn't do enough right. <laughs> like... There was no huge uh, overcommitment. He just never had the direct defense. I think the only thing you could really point out is maybe don't build your tech in the main. <laughs> like, if you build your tech tree in the main against a person who is known for... It's, a, it's his signature move. Okay, that's like, like when he's introduced and he steps into the ring. Like, three medevacs come drop your main. Like, I <laughs> So, it is just a liability. And losing the hive and access to that tech definitely expedited the end. I don't know... <laughs> well, obviously it didn't help. Vipers are really the only way to reliably deal with those the medevac ball. Are we gonna... He's, he's threepering again. Guys, he's not allowed to do this. You're not supposed to do this anymore. He, he's he's doing it again. Somebody, somebody come get me on before he gets Terran nerfed. Again. All right. Well. Game one. It got shut down by the early pull. And guess what? So I went for an early pull with speed this time. I don't know if the speed... This is a different... This isn't a, uh, like, pre-hatch. This is just pull into hatch with speed. The key difference is the Zerglings are not going to get into the base. There's no chance of that. At least not right now. And that means Beyond's going to be able to start working with his Reapers. Of course, Zerglings with speed are dangerous. But they're not... If, if Yes, he's going to see. He sees... 
the gas. He sees speed on the way, but he loses the first Reaper. That is kind of a big deal. That is a that is a medium, that is a small to medium sized deal. That is not a deal that you find on the kids menu. It's like an appetizer. Okay? It's like uh it's like chicken ten like two chicken tenders. Alright. Like normal size chicken tenders. Not fried, just like regular chicken. That's how much of a deal it is. Mm. Okay, moving on. Four Reapers. But Zergling's speed is done. The Zerglings can't really close the distance reliably off of Creep. I think he's going to need a lot more of them. At the same time, though, the Reapers can't really challenge the ramp. There could be one, a bunch of Zerglings, two Queens, three, probably both. Yeah, uh, just enough Reapers. Four Reapers, enough to easily deal with the Lynx in small numbers. Any more, and he's slowing down everything at home. Any less, and the Lynx are just going to run him down. And it looks like that's about to happen anyways. Oh, well, beyond. Uh... <laughs> that was a nice try, Cyril. Yeah, no. Not happening. <laughs> This entire, this entire wall is a reaper cliff, so good luck with that. Yeah, 20 Zerglings ain't gonna be enough. Comes in, still sniping creep tumors. Not gonna get too many. Well... That's... Uh, he's got Stim on the way. A bunch of... It's just gonna be a bunch of Marines. There's not even medevacs anytime soon. Is he just gonna attack? There's a Baneling Nest on the way. Very important for Sarah. Is... He, how many Marines? Nine Marines, four Reapers. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no respect from beyond. At all. Trying to bait those queens out. Well, he brought the marines, so that way if the zerglings chased him too far... Oh, but what he doesn't know is a zergling was watching. On the high ground here. That's a huge deal for Cyril. Catching any glimpse of this marine ball moving out. He can make the banelings, and even though there's about to be medevacs, there's still a little, wi a little ways off here. I think uh, it's looking okay for Cyril so far. Just knowing what this is. Yon's <laughs> like, oh, wait a s- Ah. Uh, uh, the Zergling even lives through it. At least for now. Oh, uh, the medevacs are coming out. It's going to be beyond with a bunch of stim marines and a couple medevacs. Some of the most dangerous things in the history of StarCraft 2. Oh, the Reapers. Oh, he's trying to catch me if you can. He's going for the main. But even though he loses a couple Reapers, well, guess what's happening? The marines stim in. Uh, enough mainlings are here to make things dangerous. There is some creep. The creep kind of looks weird, but it extends onto that glass bridge thing. Still, a reaper lives throughout this, because of course it does. Are you kidding me? Okay. What? What? Where's the queen? Come back here. Okay, I... What? What? Oh, come on. Stop. I, 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 the reaper's still getting damaged. Meanwhile, the marine's driven back, but picked up. Oh, come, stop it. Oh, are you kidding me? Uh, he got four drones. He got four drones with the Reaper. Yeah, that was worth it. Citizen's arrest. Four drones is four more drones than ever should have even had a chance of dying. <sighs> wow. Well. 
He just finds damage when no damage should be done. And that opens up more opportunities. Any little bit he can do to slow down Cyril's economy. And this is, once again, much more than a bit. He cancels the fourth base. Cyril's actually supply blocked with no only target fire. Whoa, guns down the badlings. No match. Gonna try another hatch. Good luck. Oh, these Marines are getting a little close. Take an awkward path. Slurps them up. The depot is is raised, unfortunately. Beyond still doesn't have a third base. So he is in a bit of an awkward position economically. He hasn't even started. He doesn't have a third command center at all. He's essentially all in on two base here. Cyril's still a long way off his upgrades. Uh, and, and without that fourth hatch, honestly, it's more for larva production than it is for anything else. Because right now, Cyril's only at 57 drones. He's trying to sneak a few more. But it's it's not there. On oh, the free split. Looking real nice right now. There's a lot of units to be dealing with. The drops. Snipe off a few more banes. And it looks like Beyond gonna do the multi-tier tank push into the main. Oh, the queens have mustered a queen moot in progress. But queens are not going to be enough to stop this. Wow, that's a lot of queens. Eleven queens there. They're trying to hold. The transfusers are already exhausted. Get one, get two medivacs. That's something. Oh, go for the rest. The queens will hold for now. Uh, it's a bit of a dicey positioning for that medivac. And, and Beyond continues his efforts, but the queens at great cost will hold. The beachhead is thrown back. And for now, Beyond is forced to retreat. Ugh. The perfect, uh, the, the best he could do. Cyril has, has determined that queens are the only answer here. The Marines drop in again. The tanks making half the main. Deadly to the Zerg. And getting to those tanks with Ling Bane is going to be a titanic struggle. Meanwhile, oh god, that's a lot of Ling Bane though. He might be able, he's jamming himself beyond the mineral line, but the Banelings are managing to close the distance. The Queens of the High Ground, Brenda, we fight! We cannot retreat! Ah! The Liberators sieging up these bases, but Spore Crawlers are enough to drive it back. The Creep, oh, more Queens are dying, Cyril is bleeding out. Oh, the queens are not enough. Beyond is still on two base. He can lift his vein at some point. The Zergling counter dealt with. But the queens are holding the main. Beyond keeps trying to work. He, he, oh god, another one. He's losing so many. Cyril keeps rebuilding the queens. He's lost ten so far. Seven remain. And he's re-evaluating his positioning. Beyond that is. The medevacs are out of energy. They can't even heal the stim from the marines. Cyril looking to cut off reinforcements. Oh no. And beyond. This are the only the only saving grace here, I think, is is the lack of medevac energy. Beyond has jammed himself in by the natural. Cyril is setting up the nearly 360 degree surround. There's going to be one shot. There's going to be one opportunity. Will he capture it? Or will he let it slip? Here comes Cyril from every direction. Lings and veins. The Queen's fighting the Liberators. There's nowhere left to run for Beyond. The tanks, he gets them. The Queen's hold the line. And Beyond is thrown back. But guess what? There's another army on the left flank. There's always another army. Great targeting on the veins. But Cyril gets the wrap around the tank. Rip to shreds. Cyril down to 98 supply. But he holds for now. The Queens, there's no creep! Oh, a transfuse. He steps a toe under the creep. Oh, Cyril lives. But at what cost? He's lost so much. He's lost double the minerals. 12.6 to 6.8k. Just a disgusting disparity. But Beyond has not mined nearly as much either. He's mined 5,000 less. So, Cyril's gonna have, if he gets to 2-2. Oh god, he's even, 
sieging up the, the hatch area. If he gets the 2-2, he finally has an upgrade advantage. And any of these fights are going to get a lot easier against the uh, Marines. Even Zerglings are, are a little more capable with the 2-2. Well, a single queen. This is, um... Huh. <laughs> it's an interesting exchange there, the Liberator Circle. The queen coming up to try to finish it off. The Zerglings. Uh, Liberators don't kill Zerglings particularly quick. The queen, no! Uh, it's not quite close. Wow. Um... Uh, you try to target another queen. Oh god, this is... Uh, this is... Annoying doesn't begin to describe it. Uh... Beyond is... He's created the, the liberation zone there. There's nothing to stop them. Like, there's nothing that can challenge that liberator. Beyond has been on 47 SCVs for... About eight minutes here. Eh, maybe a little less. But Cyril consistently has the income. He's about to have the upgrades. I, It's still going. It's still happening. It's just Zerglings, but those are better upgraded Zerglings. I, I just, what am I watching? Okay, here come the queens. We've had it up. Oh my god. Well, Bion is, he's now lifting, not only, he lifted his main, and now he's lifting his natural. He's on such borrowed time, but he's managed to borrow 174 supply. These players, Cyril and Bion cannot kill each other. No matter what, like, they just can't kill each other. Oh god, it's such a slugfest every single game. It looked like Bion might have enough, but then Cyril threw him back, and now who's flanking who? Oh, that answers the question. That's the difference. That's the 2-2 difference right there. He thought he might have enough to grind through, but his Marines against the plus two Banelings die in a single hit like that. Oh. And the Banelings connect. The best Baneling connection, the most meaningful one we've had in quite a while. And once again, Beyond's on the back foot, and Cyril has established a fourth base, and he's getting a high. He hasn't been able to get... A, he just got to 65 drones, which is normally considered a pretty low amount for maxing out. But Beyond has forced the issue, and he's been on such a low SCV count this whole time. Cyril's going to manage to manage. Yeah, as best I could come up with. 2-2 two, two about to finish for Beyond. Drawing that even. God, this Liberator... Positioning is uh, filthy, disgusting, and incredible. We don't mind, got taken out there. It, uh, at least I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Beyond knows all the spots from proxy racks to liberators to marine drops. Maps are Terran favored. It's been said. Well, here come the Bane Links. Widowmind's not finding the connections. He desperately needs them. And, wow. He just picks up... He, well, what are you going to do about it? You and what army, Cyril? There's no anti-air. Creating it incredibly. So he confirms there are units in those medevacs. It does feel like uh, the Yun's out of options. Like, uh, Cyril is now on his half the map. He's been able to establish the creep spread. He's got his hive done. Beyond does not have 3-3. Doesn't have a ghost academy. He doesn't... He's still on a two-orbital two economy. The income... Well, there you go. He's going to need to be even more cost-effective than he has been, which is almost impossible. How many medevacs? 
Maybe a little less now. 11 Metavex. Parasitic Bomb in the center of him. That's a lot of damage. Meanwhile, Baneling's crashing in. He drags the Parasitic Bomb Metavex. A lot of the units getting caught. The Liberator surviving throughout all of it, but... The Metavex are almost dead. He has to pick up again. Serral has enough army now to force me on the tap out. We're going to game five. Oh my. It, it did feel like that one ever since the, the massive siege break. It was trending in the Serral direction. But I hadn't quite reached it yet. They just can't kill each other. None of these games. These are some of the longest... Every one of these games could have easily ended at, like, five or six minutes. Maybe, okay, maybe, like, eight minutes. But they just keep going. They they are too evenly matched. And they're at two to two. Here we are. In the top right for game five is beyond and the bottom left is Cyril both world champions Cyril a couple times over it's been a while for beyond but we're coming up on I am Keravitsa now this has to be the most anti climatic ending no matter who wins this will be the appropriate conclusion is someone just dying to like a single medevac drop or a roach rush it can't keep up, right? <sighs> Exhausting. Imagine playing. It's almost impossible, even that little taste of, of beyond we had. No pool first. We're back to the most standard in game five. Is Beyond going to break out his one standard build of the series? No, we're going to do. Oh, wait, no, that's CC first. I take it. Well, this is about as close to standard as it gets. Is CC first. Beyond essentially going for zero, like Reaper expand into Hellions. We have seen zero of that. It was what? Two, three Rex Reaper and one proxy, two Rex Marine. And then there was another game that I don't remember. That might have been a, just a normal Reaper game. These games are too long. <laughs> what was Data C? Oh, that was like a two Rex build. All right, Beam. Speaking of two racks. Uh, <laughs> CC first. Into 2-1-1. Serral's going to see it. He's going to see every bit of this. He knows exactly what it is. What is the, what is the answer? Uh, he's seen the timing of the barracks, the reactor. It is... There are no questions left in Serral's mind. So... It looks like he's just going to defend. He's going to get as many drones as he deems possible. And then look to crush the medevacs. I don't think that's a bad call. Not that I'm one to criticize. Yeah, factory on the way. <laughs> Be unsticking to the classics. This is the most passive early game. A Marine's gonna move out. I, I think he wants to... Well, he wants Serral to overreact to the Marines. Look, I have like seven Marines. There's no way he commits. There's no way he just walks across the entire map with these. What a bluff. 
No. What are you doing? Uh, Cyril is calling his bluff right now. He's not building a single unit. He knows he can defend this with queens. Like, yeah, get out of here. Go home. Go find a metafec. Oh my god. Just like, he under both understanding the game so well and having the uh, confidence to just walk out there like that. So, both things here for Beyond. And at the same time, Cyril having the confidence to say, No, you're not. <laughs> like, that's not anything. I know you're not going to try until the medevacs get here. Get out of here with that. Gets up to 46 rounds, and he's decided on Roach Ling instead of Bane Lings. Which I think is more reliable in the early game, but becomes less effective as time goes on. Slow banelings are just target practice for beyond. This is also more larva efficient. This means he can spend less larva on army units and more on drones. Uh, at least to deal with this first set of units. We'll see how it pans out. Usually it's still the Ling Bane Queen. The roaches are enough. He's got the lings in the main to deflect any attempts there. Beyond is building a third command center. Silence. The calm before... Well, not the storm, but... The roach speed. And the stim. <clears throat> The young gets out with all 60 marines after a bit of uh, creep sweeping. Keeping what control he can of it. Is that tank walled in? There's no way it's walled in. It's just... It's just resting its eyes. Cyril adds on an infestation pit. Wow, he's just going to go straight up. He hasn't even added a baneling nest. It's just mass roach. Okay. 69 drones. Nice enough in this early game. A, a new style here to deal with Beyond's aggression. We'll see how it pans out. He's already got a lot of creep over halfway across the map as Beyond has not really been able to do much against it. Hydra is done on the way. Bane speed, not Bane speed, sorry, Roach speed about to finish. Plus one attack, but no combat shield yet for the marines. Alright, that's more than enough roaches to deflect. <laughs> oh, Bia. Literally can't give him anything. Now well, the main base, there's some zerglings, a spore crawler. Hmm. The queens continue to respread. There's really, there's no other drop. Reducing the creep spread. You can tell, bit of a stressful game here for both sides. And it kind of seems like Cyril has, mostly for be honest, Cyril feels like he's kind of relaxed a bit. He's just shutting, he's slapping down these early drops. He's got a lurker down on the way with a hive pre eight minutes. He's got 74 drones, his fourth base is done. He's, he's gonna start mining some gas from it. Vion is kind of scrambling with two medevacs and 16 marines. Usually a real threat, but the creep is... It's getting closer. Okay, it's not going to get easier. There's already vipers in production. Okay. Has Vion waited too long to move out? It's a bit of a weird army to be fighting against. Uh, Ravager... Roach Ling, not nearly as good as, as Ling Bane Hydra, but also much easier to get. It's a numbers game right now. Ooh, those tanks. Yeah, very good. Uh, against most of the things Cyril has at the moment. This is a strong attack. Is there an armory behind? There is, but he hasn't started 2-2. It's 1-1 on both sides. 
It's gonna be about unit composition more than the upgrades. The lurkers are done, but they don't have range, which means the siege tank's gonna be able to deal with them relatively easily for now. Oh, the queens once again pulled to fight on their own. Not an ideal scenario. Well, here comes some lurkers. Does he have a scan? He's deep onto the creep, but that doesn't matter so much here. The medevac drop was taken out, but he's isolated that bottom right base and the queens. And Beyond may be able to take this base out. Oh, but the Vipers yank the tanks in. Get a couple. There's still three. The creep is all over the place here. The drones are on the run. They get caught. Most of them will survive because there's not that much DPS here. Oh, the lurkers are burrowed, but just the tanks are enough for now. Beyond. Oh, lurkers finds doing terrible damage. Beyond has a solid army, but the Lurkers are holding him back. Just enough. Cyril only has two Vipers, but with no Ghosts, there's no way to really deal with the Vipers directly. Cyril is not going to wander those Vipers into Marines. The creep has been significantly cleared. Beyond's going to try to divide and conquer. He's got a triple drop over to the right flank. It's waiting for its moment. It scans. It sees the lurkers are out of position. And that's going to be the decisive moment here. He drops out. That's not enough roach. That's not enough roaches. He needs more. It's very easy for Bao to pounce on that. Well, here come the vipers. But at the same time, beyond stimming, is he winning? That's not enough lurkers. He's able to easily stim past. Cyril abandoned his lurkers. Disastrous. The Lurkers were the only thing holding Beyond back, but he needed to cover them in turn. Lurkers are no match. Oh, no. I... Cyril has lost his army supply lead. He's lost the supply lead in general. Beyond with Tank Marine Marauder. Cyril needs to be up 40 supply, not 40 down to deal with this. Beyond, he, he took out the base. It's three base versus three base. A couple more medevacs go down. But Cyril was unable to find the winning fight with the first set of lurkers. And now Beyond has pulled him out of position. He's tearing him apart. And the main base. You can't even get back to your main without the tanks getting involved. There's no energy on the Vipers. There's not enough lurkers to deal with this. He's consuming his own hatch. The one that's about to get gunned down by Marauders. It's still 1-1 one, one upgrades. That tells you how close this game was for so long. Blinding Cloud, optimistic. Hydra's not nearly good enough. The Lurkers are still slicing up reinforcements. Pretty sloppy from beyond to let those Lurkers live through this. Well, we'll see if a Blinding Cloud can make the difference here. He doesn't seem to have a scan ready. Otherwise, I'm sure he would have already used it. Yanking the tanks in. They're actually still going to find some damage as they get yanked in. He, he just picks up and he intercepts the lurkers here. The viper's standing by. Nothing they can do. Drones are pulled. And GGWP Beyond takes it. Three to two. Beyond playing an incredible series. The shortest game of the whole series. And it ends up being a decisive victory. Beyond having full confidence in his micro. Cyril trying something new in game five, trying a different method of dealing, because even even though he won the waterfall game, uh, well, beyond the better player at the end of the day, he beat Cyril, though uh, in probably the best series I've seen all year, the closest, the highest level, the most bestestest, which I'm sure will be the title. Uh, on YouTube, so if you enjoyed that, smash the like button. Check out this video, which is also probably beyond statistically. Jimmy, Jimmy put this one up just for you, not for them. Um, but I hope I made your day a little bit better. Thank you to Home Story, um, and thank you for watching. Good luck, have fun, stay chill.